Oh, God, yes, I love Sonic. Sonic is without question my favorite video game franchise I've played yet. Yes, even more so than Pokemon and Mario. And that's saying a lot. Sonic games are either very well polished, very fast paced, or just incredibly fun. However, one thing I really don't like about Sonic, it's its fan base. Now, I know it's not the franchise's fault that the fan base exists, but I just can't stand fanboys. And trust me, I had to deal with one Mario fanboy before. But where am I going with this? Well, the fan base is either, well, hates the new Sonic games or is entirely split on them. In the game, Sonic 06 is no exception. Not only Sonic 06 is hated by at least half of the Sonic fanbase, but it's also hated by normal Sonic fans too. Heck, even video gamers in general. However, I don't hate Sonic 06. Shocker, I know. In fact, I find Sonic 06 to be pretty much enjoyable. And that is what I'm going to be explaining in this review. First of all, I really don't find the story in the game to be all that bad. Sure, there could be plot holes and maybe some moments that don't make sense. And when I mean moments that don't make sense, I mean that freaking bestiality moment. But besides that, it's okay. The story is not too bad, and I could well forgive it since well, it's a game. Stories don't have to be well. Story is not the main focus of the game, of course. And that is where we get to the main part of the game: the gameplay. And my god, the gameplay is freaking amazing. I mean, yeah, the gameplay is just so fun and so amazing. You can play as Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. Let's start with Sonic, of course, since he's the main character. Sonic stages are pretty fast and super fun, like what you would expect from modern Sonic stages. Also, there is some platforming in the game. Again, I find it pretty fun. I mean, just look at this! Look at it! It's perfect! In conclusion to the Sonic stages, they're very fun, and if you get Sonic 06, you won't regret the Sonic stages. One more thing, it's not the fastest game, but it's pretty much up there. Next up, we have Shadow, which funny enough, he actually gets the least amount of criticism. Well, Shadow stages are a lot like Sonic's, I'm not gonna go too in depth. Basically, Shadow can control like Sonic, he's as fast as Sonic, but there are two major differences. One, his stages are more around on combat than speed. And two, he can ride cars like he's in GTA 5. What? Uh, uh, I'm speechless. I'm incredibly speechless. Well, I guess we have a winner. <laughs> no, we don't. But technically, I do like the Shadow Stages, and I really recommend them. Well, we finally came to this. After all this time, after this whole review, we finally get to talk about the infamous Silver. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Despite all the hate Silver gets, I really enjoy him as a character. I mean, he's a very interesting character, and I don't know why he gets that much hate. Maybe it's because, well, people think this is a terrible game, which I honestly don't think so, as I stated earlier. Well, he may not be as fast as Sonic or Shadow, but he has something else to offer. He has his Time Vortex powers, or however you say it. With these, Silver can fly, carry stuff, and maybe cheat out a level to avoid all the annoying glitches. I mean, be Superman! Okay, that was a terrible joke, but you get my point. As for his boss, well, it's pretty fun and challenging. 
if you haven't been on YouTube nor experienced this boss, I'll fill you in. Silver has his time powers again, and you have to avoid them. Of course, if he catches you, he'll pick you up and go. Yeah, that won't get annoying. So yeah, all I remember of Silver's gameplay is that, well, he says it's no use, he has an awesome boss, and overall his gameplay is just fun. In fact, I actually prefer Silver over Sonic and Shadow. There, I said it. What, you mad bro? Come on, it's just an opinion. Alright, before I end this video and reach off to my conclusion, I want to talk about one more thing. The soundtrack of the game. We can all agree that the soundtrack of the game is actually very fantastic. The soundtrack of the game is just... wow. Like... There's his world, which is the main theme of the game. There's Shadow's theme, which is All Hail Shadow, and that's really good. But not, but they, these two cannot compare to Dreams of an Absolution. Yes, I'm saying it now. Dreams of an Absolution is my favorite theme in the game. Yes, Silver's theme, freaking Silver, the the one that everyone hates. That's how good the the soundtrack is, and I'm not even, and I'm being honest. Oh my god, I'm stuttering like, oh my goodness, I'm reading my script and I'm stuttering like crazy talking about the soundtrack. Yup, that's how good it is. It makes me stutter until like, I can't talk anymore. Well, I have to say, Sonic 06 is a real guilty pleasure of mine. It's fun. It's great, it has amazing characters, the story isn't too bad, and the gameplay is fantastic. So, my final score is a 9 out of 10. And thanks for watching.